hey guys welcome back to my uh, my videos <clears throat> so this video is in continuation to the other two videos i made um, yesterday um, the part one and part two where you have seen um, we configured the routing from the scratch uh, the bgp um, and ospf and now how we connected the new york to dallas uh, uh, location going to be using this isp1 and isp2 routers router 2 and router 3 uh, we configured the EBGP um, for external connectivity and internal connectivity. We configured OSPF from router 4 to external switch 1. And I have also shown you on those videos um, how I redistributed, redistributed BGP into OSPF and OSPF into BGP. And we also um, landed in some, some issues and we troubleshooted our way out um, having issues with connectivity. Um, between New York and Dallas, we troubleshooted that and we resolved that issue. And now that we have full connectivity between New York and Dallas, and we also see that um, Router 2 is prefer is selected as preferred path for BGP to connecting between Router 1 and Router 4. So in this video, the part three, we are going to change that. Instead of using Router 2 as a best preferred path, we will make Router 3 as a preferred and we will make the router 2 as a secondary. If I hop on to the router 1 real quick and do show IP BGP um, for one, let's select one of the network as show IP BGP 1.1.1. As you see here, we have two available paths for this route, the Dallas network 1.1.1 and the best is the number 2. Number 2 is being um, 10.1.1.2, this router and secondary is 20.1.1 so we go in this video we, i'm going to change that we will make bgp to prefer 20.1.1.2 as a best route and 100.1.1.2 as a secondary right so how we do that there are multiple ways of doing that but for sake of this video this um, we will start using um as path preference um so using that we can manipulate the bgp path selection and how do we achieve that so let's do this way first thing first i would like to do show ip bgp just want to make sure we everything is in place as it's supposed to be so we're learning three routes on from the both routers 10.1.1.2 and 20.1.1.2 these two isps we have equal number of routes so let's also do show run sec bgp i want to see my bgp configuration <clears throat> excuse me all right so let's we can achieve this by so let's create a, a step one we will create a ip prefix list we will call uh, this dallas network in those prefix right then we'll so step number two would be we'll create a route map and step number three will be binding the route map with the ip prefix list and step number four would be um we will call the route map into our neighbor in the incoming direction in inside the inner side for the receiving end on this link so whenever the route whenever these packets from dallas anyways the packets are coming from here as well as here when we call the as path preference route map whatever mechanic whatever the configuration i would do those would be tagged onto this packet making this order looks making this packet looks like it, it has taken many more hops in the way so i will explain you when we do that right so let's go and do that um so order one i will just call show route map we don't have any route map so let's do let's make a route map first or let's do this way show ip prefix list let's create a prefix con ip 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 prefix list Dallas one permit oh. equals ten permit. What is the network? Um one dot one dot one slash twenty eight and just as as you go on adding more networks you have to change the sequence 10 15 20 whatever and just 
I'm using the same line and making a few changes to make my life easy. All right, so if I do show IP prefix list, Dallas one. Now I would see these two networks added to this prefix list. So now let's go ahead and step to create a route map. Route map Dallas one. Let's call it the same name. Oh, route map permit Let's come out of this T route map permit 10 uh, match IP address prefix list uh, this is a lengthy command the prefix list we just created Dallas one Dallas one right <clears throat> then set AS path prefix using our AS number. What is the AS number we have here? It's 100. And so what we just did here and this, um, first, uh, like I said, the step one, we created a prefix list. We gave it a name and we call both the Dallas networks. It could be many networks, as many networks you want to allow. You add them here, just change the sequence number. Then you create a roadmap. Um, you can use its different name, but for the sake of this video, I call it the same name um, for the prefix list as well as the route map. I created this route map, then I went to the step number three uh, that is um, route map Dallas 1 permit 10, right? Then I'm binding this uh, IP prefix list Dallas 1, step number three, match IP address prefix list Dallas 1. Then I'm saying set AS path preference 100, 100, 100, 100. So every time a BGP learns a route from its peers, whatever the peers it has learned from, it will put, it will keep that note of the AS numbers. So just add, making, um, calling this AS number 100, 100 multiple times. Uh, if you look into the diagram here, basically I have equal number of hops between router one and router four, three and two. But when I say 100, 100, 100, four times, what I'm trying to tell the router is I'm trying to make make a full out of it, right? By saying there are four more uh, hops in the middle. So next time when you go, take the easiest way out. So that's what it's doing. By adding 100, 100, the AS path prevent numbers, the, it makes router one looks like this route, which it has learned from router two, has taken many more hops in the middle. So in, instead of taking those many hops again, why would I choose the longest route? Let me take the shortcut, the easiest way. So then it will prefer it. So now we done with the step three. So the best practice is whatever you just did, I uh, would like you to go and uh, review that, right? So if I just say, um, what is my road roadmap? Um, roadmap, roadmap, Dallas one. Show, I will just say, our OUT roadmap, Dallas one. All right, so my roadmap, Dallas one, I bind it to the prefix list, Dallas one, and I'm calling this ES path preference here. If I go to show run sec BGP, so this is my BGP configuration, and these are my neighbors. So as you have seen, at show IP BGP um, one dot one dot one. We're seeing that the preferred route is ten dot one dot one dot two. This is the route BGP is taking to reach through the Dallas, so this neighbor, but we want to change that and make this guy as a primary. So I'm going to put that AS path prepared the configuration which it has did on this neighbor. So what I would do, con FT, router BGP 100. Just copy this from here. Just call it the route map which you just created. Route map, make sure you copy the exact same name and call it the in direction on this link right then end. so just again whatever you did always make a habit of uh, running the command show on some bgp and confirm what you did is actually being shown sometimes it doesn't take it so just confirm it saves you a lot of time believe me i've learned this over over years of experience doing this 
all right so now that we have that uh, now let's go and um, clear ipbgp star so don't do this in the live production environment this will clear i mean this is not gonna harm anything but still if what if you miss typing star and stop it will reset all the bgp and if you're doing this production environment that will be a big mess so don't do that and be careful um, about this um, Right, now, now let's go show IP BGP. All right. Oops. Now, as soon as I put the roadmap here, it looks like it has stopped all more routes. Um, I have seen this, especially in the BG, in the GNS3. Um, I have run this issue many times. It should not stop. So it, basically, what you see here, zero and three. These are the routes I'm learning from my peers, 20.1.1.2 and 10.1.1. So if you see here a few minutes ago, um, we had three routes now showing zero. As soon as you put the uh, route map and permitting everything, it should still show equal number of routes, but would only affect the path selection. But for some reason, it's completely blocking everything out. So let's see why it is doing that. Um, Con FT. Sure, let's do route map. Dallas one. Let's go and remove this prefix list and see what happens. This is how you remove the prefix list. IP prefix list. Uh, no IP address. What? Roadmap. Oh, my bad. No match. IP address. Prefix list. What is my prefix list here? Dallas one. And also remove this one. No set. Is not prepared. My bad, fat fingers. Uh, now that we removed everything, let's see what happens. Let's reset the BGP. So the routes are back. So let's try to put it back again. Con FT. The easiest way of doing that, um, show run. Just copy from here everything. Permit 10. Match. IP address. Prefix list. My prefix list name. Uh, what was that? I just want to make sure I'm copying exactly the same names. Hopefully it will take this time instead of dropping all my routes. And clear the BGP and see what happens. No. Let's do one more time. Sub sometimes the GNS3 sucks, so uh, let's go this. No map. No. Match IP prefix list. Sorry, guys, sometimes we have to do this multiple times. I have seen this in BM Genus 3, but this is the process how you do it. Um, so um, that prefix list is gone. Let's reset our BGP. 
and do the show for summary. See, as soon as I remove the prefix list, um, I'm getting this route. So let's put that prefix list one more time and see what happens. Maybe I need to wait some more time before I clear IPBGP, um, but let's see. Uh, T roadmap, file, permit, 10. Match IP prefix list Dallas 1. And let's put the set as path 100. And show IP BGP summary. Luckily, those routes are still here. Show IP BGP 1.1.1.1. Let's see what happens now. All right, finally. So, two available paths, but path is number two. Number two, which one is our number two? 20.1.1. So, finally, we were able to swing the preferred path from router two to the router three, now 20.1.1. If I go all the way back up here, before we started the, doing this, if you remember, we gave this command show IP BGP. All right, here, show IP BGP 1.1.1. It was selecting the best path number two, which was 10.1.1.2. As you see here, two available paths. The best path is number two, 10.1.1.2. It was preferring this. After we added the route map, we created a prefix list and we binded them together and called them on our neighbors and we ran into issue with the GNS3 bug, um, which was completely blocking this. Then I have to recreate uh, the prefix list and roadmap, bind them together multiple times and call them into the neighbor, uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry for that. Then it started working, but finally we were able to achieve that and the final output is should be BGP 1.1.1. Now it's preferring 20.1.1.2. This is one of the way we can um, manipulate or change or influence the BGP path selection forcibly, um, manually, um, whatever you call it. So that's all I have um, one more time. So to do that, what I did basically, um, let me expand this real quick so we can go over quickly on this. Um, I created a roadmap, um, roadmap Dallas one, right? Then I, I mean, we created IP prefix list. This one, show IP prefix list, prefix list Dallas one. We added this networks to those prefix list, the Dallas subnets with a different sequence number. Then I created a roadmap with the same name, show route. Dallas one. Then on the route map, I call the sequence ten. Um, then we binded this prefix list Dallas one into this route map, and we call this set AS path prepends. This is the command line to add a more uh, AS path numbers here. Um, AS numbers here. You do four minimum, five. I have even done twelve times based on the requirement. So the more you add, the more. Uh, less preferred this route would be from the router and you call that particular route map onto if you see here um, show run set bgp you call this route map onto the receiving end of this neighbor 1.1.2 because we were trying to influence the make this primary link as a secondary so we put this whatever the code we have written the bgp on this one so we kind of mess up with this route uh, learning process and make the bgp to select this one all right that's all for this uh, video i hope you enjoyed it and thank you see you in the next video